to the parliament buildings, the destruction that happened there, talk about the police vehicles that were torched in the CBD, the destruction on people's businesses, those that lost their businesses, Sunbeam uh, business premises was actually razed down completely. People lost their businesses. If you go to the interwebs, people saying how they've lost everything, their savings, their businesses raised down by the protesters. You talk about the county offices, talk about pretty much the economy that has stalled because of the protests that have happened in the city, but the military have been deployed following that gazette notice that was uh, released by the cabinet secretary, Ed Indi Ali, before the National Assembly discussed the same, approved the deployment of the KDF who are assisting the police officers in maintaining law and order. And as rightfully said, the concerns that the protesters have been bringing forth have been matters to do with increased taxation that they feel is unfair to them. And this has been a clarion call not only this week, but last week as well when we saw the demonstrations that spilled over to this week. And today they said they would be going out there to take over state house that has seen and has been met by hating security in the country you see the military has been deployed in the cbd the police are making sure that there would be protesters who are protesting uh, in the downtown area of the cbd do not advance to the upper area and police are dealing with them around luthuli avenue uh, ronald and gala around rng plaza that is that entire area in making sure that protesters do not get to destroy property, do not get to advance further. But equally, we have seen that business people, those who own businesses, entrepreneurs in the CBD have taken charge. They are armed with batons and have told the police officers that they will do everything necessary to protect their premises. That on your screen those uh, KDF officers taking charge and making sure that the country is safe. Okay, interesting. And we continue with our coverage, even as we want to link up with our senior political affairs reporter, Jeff Kirui, who is right there next to the, uh, to the heavily armored vehicle right there. So Kirui, if you can hear me, let, let's just understand if there are any crowds that are moving their way using that route towards the CBD, and equally, why exactly is the military cordoning off this particular area? Kirui, if you can hear me. Well, uh, Delphi, what exactly is happening here is that we are at Enterprise Road, and uh, the members, the police, actually, this is actually the Kenya Defense Forces team. They have been patrolling the streets of Nairobi. We followed them all the way from Koinange Street, University Way, Uruai Way, Bunyala, Lusaka Road. Right now we are at Enterprise Road, but now there is a problem here because still two of their vehicles, the armored personnel carriers, have developed mechanical problems. So that is why you see we have been, we have been uh, here for the last about 10 to 15 minutes. And that is the current problem that they're having here. So just on, on um, uh, people who are curious uh, to know what the problem is. But uh, now we are on the move. They have left behind a number of uh, officers who are, keep, uh, who, are, who, are, who are actually ensuring that their vehicles are safe. But now we are back on transit. We are heading now back. I don't know whether we will be going to the CBD or we will be heading to the city stadium route, but we wait to see exactly what will happen. But so far, two of the armored personnel carriers are actually grounded along Enterprise Road. I don't know whether it's a fuel issue, but their car wouldn't start. So they are trying to figure out what the problem is, and this has uh, caused this um, commotion you're seeing along Enterprise Road because most of the people are wondering what is happening here, but it's just a mechanical breakdown. And uh, some have actually, they are on the move. It's also, remember that this area as well is the area that has the industrial area, uh, um, the industrial area prisons. So there is a lot of commotion because also the prison officers are manning this area. Since morning, they have been surrounding this place to ensure that the safety of prisoners now that uh, the demonstrations we witnessed, uh, some of the demonstrators are coming all the way from the side of Jogo Road and Landis. So they are ensuring that the safety of their prisoners is actually well 
catered for or taken care of. But now we are outside the uh, industrial area prisons and they have also stopped here waiting for a reinforcement, uh, perhaps to come and tow the two APCs that have broken down. Jesse. An update, uh, even as the military personnel try and get their affairs in order, it seems uh, one of their cars has developed mechanical problems, and that's why they have lingered around the Nairobi Remand and Allocation Maximum Security Prison, better known as Industrial Area Prison. But that's the latest, even as they continue making rounds to, in various areas within Nairobi County, just to ensure security is tight. As you can see on the right side of the screen, that is within CBD, and it seems there is tear gas canisters that have been uh, 